Yikes, what a day. A down day, a destitute market for gainers, but we can still find some opportunities out there. I'm John Zadar. You're watching On Top and Hot, and this is Monday, May 9th. Now, what I like to do here is just share information I come across through the day as a day trader. And today was a unique day. It was very down. It was destitute. There was a lot of red across the board today on all the markets. And the OTC and the penny stocks, folks, it was destitute. Trying to find gainers today was hard. The only way you could really make money today was if you shorted stocks or played options. Hey, yeah, I was playing puts today, but I was looking at the market and it is bleak, but we're gonna go glean across the entire market so that we can see what to be leery of and we're gonna go find some opportunities that we can make use of in these kind of markets. Let me show you what I've got. Now, it's probably no big surprise that one of the best places I go to to see how the market is faring for the OTC market is the otcmarkets.com website. Surprised? No. Now, I've brought many of you here before. All you got to do is come over here to market activity and click this current market link, and you're going to get the most active stocks over the entire market, all 12,000. And since we're here, let's take a look at how the OTC fared today. There are over 12,000 different stocks on the entire OTC market. We did $2.7 billion today. Well, that's surprising, folks. We have been doing about $2 billion for, I don't know, eight months, 10 months. It's been just under, just over, but that, that's about a half a billion, half a billion more than we normally do, which is interesting considering there are very few gainers on the stock market. Share count is still low, 8.7 billion shares. That's all we did today. That may sound like a lot, but a year ago today, we were doing 45 billion. So this is way, way down. What is another surprise is our trades. We've been at about a quarter million, 250,000 to 350,000. Today we're at 450,000. So we have two numbers that have jumped today and yet it was a down market across the entire OTC without a doubt. And I can show that to you here. We're gonna look at advancers. I'm gonna look at all the stocks. Now remember, we are looking at all 12,000 stocks. This is every single stock on the OTC market. We can't trade these black diamonds. They're on the expert market. We're not going to look at them. So if we come down here, I'm going to open this up. All right, there's 100% right there. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. We got 16 stocks over 100% across the entire OTC market. But look, look at most of those didn't even have 10 trades. Most even only had one trade. Not any price activity, folks. This one here with 32, well, yeah, compared to two and one, that seems like a lot of trading going on. But that isn't a lot of trading, not at all. And we need trading activity if you want a price to move. Now, these did move. But if we're going to take any gains from it, it's got to keep moving. So you need other people there to keep the price action going. So I'm looking for a big number. Do we see any yet? No, no big numbers. And we are down to 50%. Of all 12,000 stocks, we have just gone through every single possibility for gainers, and we are down to 50% on the entire market. And still, we're looking at these itty-bitty trade numbers here. All right, let's see if we can get a big one. Look, 41, uh, that one moved 42%, less than a quarter, roughly a quarter million shares. Finally, one over 100. ILIM, 16 million shares and they did 40% gains. Just a real quick look, we're not chasing anything down here, but I do wanna see what it's about. All right, uh, her regular volume is 4.7 million. She did about four times today. Share structure, oh, 1.4 billion. Nothing interesting there. We got a catalyst, no news, and we have no disclosures. So there's nothing really apparent going on here, but she has jumped 40%. Let's see what else we got. 77, EGYF, about a half a million shares. It did go up 37%. Not a whole lot happening, folks. Um, 1053, 10, oh my God. HIPH, this is the water company. They've just gotten into the NFTs. 
They've just gotten into NFTs, the metaverse, I believe it is. They're up 30%, and they had 103 trades. Not a whole lot, and we're down to 26%, folks. This is normally where I find my runners. There are no runners. There's nobody screaming here. I mean, you've got some activity, finally. This one here, SWMAY, it's not even a penny stock. Look at that one. That one went up 23% and it's almost 10 bucks. They almost had a thousand trades. 72, XDSL, six cents, 20% gains, not even a million shares. So you can see, that is the entire market. We just looked through 12,000 stocks without having to look through them all. And right there, we're down to 20% for all 12,000 stocks. There's nothing above it that we haven't seen. Very bleak. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to take us on over to Thinkorswim, and we're going to look at this from a different perspective, and then we're going to work away from that and start to find some opportunities for tomorrow or maybe the rest of this week. You'll see what I'm talking about. So we've jumped over here to Think or Swim. This is a free trading platform and it does everything you probably want to do. You can do all your charting with all of your tools, your SMAs, MACD, RSI. You can do scans, save your scans, make your own personal watch list. It brings in news. It sends out alerts to your phone or to your email. I mean, this does a lot and it does it all for free. All you got to do is go on over to TD Ameritrade, sign up for a free account. They're not going to ask you for any money. You actually don't even have to trade with them. Just keep your account open and you can use TOS just like I am. Now what I've got set up right now is what I want to show you again so you can see what the market is doing overall. This is a search that reaches down into the sub pennies, 001 to three dollars and that's the only filter I have is last price and I think double zero one to three dollars is a prime area for OTC and penny stocks now remember penny stocks can go to five dollars and penny stocks can be on any market NASDAQ New York Stock Exchange or the OTC doesn't matter and this list here includes all of them all those markets we're talking about all their stocks are here so we're not excluding any market. You can see how many gainers in this price range there are. So here's our greens. We start at 295%. I'm scrolling and right there we are done. To give you an idea, right here is where we are at. I can scroll all that down. All that white there, dead stocks. All of this, folks, not one share was sold to these companies today. Not one share was bought. Just no volume. Then you come into the red, and let's, I'm not even halfway down the page yet, folks, so we still got all that. That's how much blood is on the market between 001 and 3. So if you were trying to find runners today, as I said, it was scarce, it was destitute. And a lot of these stocks were running because of technicals. Yeah, some had catalysts, but not a lot. It would be a lot of extra work. So today was actually a day to make money in the negative direction. Playing puts if you do options. Shorting stocks if you short. When the price falls, those ways you can make money. Otherwise, what you really need to do is step out of the game and search for opportunities. Now, obviously, you can't make benefit of any opportunities if you don't have any cash. Cash is a great position to have, folks. Holding your cash is better than getting into something you're that about. Don't just get into a play because you feel like you're missing out. Holding cash is a king's position. When opportunities come, you're ready. You're there to take advantage of them. And let me tell you, there are opportunities right now. Whether they be big caps, small caps, or OTC, the prices are falling. And I don't think we've seen the floor yet. So don't get in a hurry. If you feel like maybe it's going to bounce, buy some. Buy a small position and build your position as it falls. Just keep adding some more in small chunks. When it starts to bounce, then you can buy what you wanted to have. Maybe you wanted $1,000. Do you know how much you want of a stock before you buy it? You should. <laughs> Honestly, you should. No, not how much you have in your bank account. How many shares do you want to buy? So, that is the whole point here, is that it was difficult, and there are many days that we could see like this in the future, folks. Honestly, the market is looking tough right now. So, you need to find ways to make money 
so that you can continue playing in the market. You don't want to sit it all out waiting for it to finally bounce. God knows it could be two years before it bounces. I'm not exaggerating. We don't know. So what we can do is look at warrants. Now I've talked about this before, but they're an opportunity that is always available under any circumstance. They're always out there every single day and they're pretty basic to play. Now if you don't know what warrants are, don't get worried about that because they're stocks. We just call them warrants, but they're stocks. You can day trade them, swing trade them, hold them short, hold them long, whatever. You know, it's just a stock, but they're warrants as well. It's a bonus. And a warrant is something you hang on to and cash in at a later date. It's a coupon to buy a share of stock at a discounted price. That warrant may say, eh, in five years, we'll let you buy a share of stock for $1.25. Well, right now it's only 62 cents. No big deal. But in five years, it's up to $16. You can cash in that stock, that warrant, and give them $1.25 with it, and they'll give you a share that is worth $16. And you can turn around and sell it right now and get all that profit. That's why people like warrants. And warrants normally start at about $1.50 a piece. That's roughly what they are. And you'll see them fall in price, 80 cents, 90 cents. They'll get down to three cents. And when they hit low bubbles, they like to take off. Now, we aren't talking about a rolling low. We're not talking about something that is just rolling down the hill, doo 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 doo, from one corner down. Every single time it moves, it's just making a new low. We're looking for out of place, unusual lows. Lows that you can see should bounce back. And the way I like to do that, there's a couple different ways, but the shortest way is any search you do, doesn't matter. Just look for stocks that have a W like this one, A-L-T-M-W. Look for a stock that has a W at the end or a W-S. It really is that simple. And what we'd be looking for is a low bubble. Now I look for low bubbles that are out of place. I'm on a one hour chart right now, 20 days. I'm gonna go back four hours just to see what this looks like. Okay, she has been rolling downhill. She's got a median right about in here, right? So she hit a low there, bounced up, and she's close, but I mean, there's nothing exciting there. But this is how I look at it. You got to step up, uh, step back, look at the bigger chart and see if it looks out of place because just coming in close, you're not going to see what you need. But if you search too far out, you get low bubbles too far back. You want to see the low bubbles happening now. Now, this is ideally what I do. I do this search and right now the best way for me I found to do a search is to actually narrow this down to New York Stock Exchange and it's like I get a whole bunch of, uh, let me see, and, 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 a whole bunch of warrants come up instantly right there, New York Stock Exchange. I hit this scan and I am looking still at the same price. Now look here, I'm going to open this up so that you can see these. WS, 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 WS. Those are all warrants. Now there's a lot more of them, but I'm just saying this narrows, I don't have to go down to 2,000 stocks. I just got these right here. And we are looking for setups where you have a low bubble. You can see we had a low here of 13 cents and it jumped up to 29 cents. That's over 100% gains in 24 hours. But you've got to find these low bubbles before they pop, right? So I come over here at about 2.30, 3 o'clock in the afternoon. I throw up any search, really, and I just start looking for the W's and the WS's. And I look for a low bubble in my day. I look for a low bubble that just happened and is sitting in my face. Then I back up and I see what that looks like relative to the rest of the chart. Is it a rolling? Like right here, okay? We've got a straight line going across. No doubt you can see that. Then you have this drop. Well, there's nothing else down there. It doesn't stay down there. And if we go back, let's look at four hours. Let's see if we can get a bit of history of how she works. Whew. Big drop here, sideways for a few days, and a big jump. Big drop. You got to remember, people are trading on a five-day chart. That would have been a low bubble. Came over and look at that return. My goodness, from 35 cents, that went up to $1.08. Now it's hit another low bubble. And it's starting to climb. Normally when it starts to climb off of these lows, even though it's falling lower, it is recovering. So this is one you might want to put on your watch list. I'm going to come back into that 20 day, one hour. Now, consider this. Where am I at? I'm looking at the green, right? 
I'm looking at stuff really that had a little bubble and has already recovered. Great, that's good to show you what happens and I'll show you a few more. But isn't it smarter to search the red? The stocks that have all fallen today, how big is that list? So we look for low bubbles in the losers today and if you do it at 2.30, 3 o'clock, you can make up your mind, do I want to take a small position on this right now and watch what happens in the morning and decide if I want to continue or get out? Or, you know, do I just put them all on a watch list and see what starts to move in the morning, see which ones get volume and get into the one that gets volume because that's always a key with warrants as it is with any stock. Get out of there. We can't see what's going on. All right, are we on our hour? No, that's four hour. Let's come down to that 20 day, one hour view. So t this morning, there was a low here of 28 cents and it jumped to 43 cents. So you've got about 80% gains on that one. Had you seen that, low bubble here, 28 up to, no, I'm sorry, that's 8 cents up to 13 cents, almost 50%. And this is what I'm just trying to show you. When you see right there, okay, you can see that was a low right there, and she bounced off that low, and for so, and she got high. She she went from 31 cents up to 49 cents. So if you bought a hundred dollars worth, you got yourself uh, what 19, 20 dollar gain right there then it fell to a new low and since she doesn't like lows you know she's probably going to pop back and boy did she Boop! right back up and this time she went from a quarter to 45 cents so there's another 20 cents right there and i like to find these at the end of the day not in the morning but anytime you do a search you may find a low bubble low here of a dollar 11 went to a dollar 34 nothing special going on there okay so let's flip this let's bring this over to the bottom now these are all warrants look at that ws oh my god look at all the warrants man i feel like i just got a bucket of candy here now these are in alphabetical order i don't know why they're in alphabetical order all right matter of fact go back in alphabetical order because they were yeah all right let's see what we got here now see Perfect setup here. We are on the one hour. Let's come down to the five minute because we can see there's a low bubble at the end of the day. Ooh, she's already bouncing off that low bubble. We are on the five minute, 5, 10, 15, 20, 25 minutes of recovery. So she came all the way down, hit this. You wouldn't have bought it on the low bubble. You never buy anything on a low bubble because you really don't know where it's going to go. It could continue going lower, right? You've got to get confirmation. You've got to see at least, at least two green bars going the other direction. Not sideways, but up. Yeah, that costs you. You feel like you're losing gains. But think of it as insurance. Insurance is never free. So you've just paid for insurance there. And then you get in. Look at that. Perfect time to get in, right? Blink, you jump in there. So it was at 30 cents. You would have got in at 32 and rolled this up to 36. Now, do you want out? I mean, that's not a big gain, but it isn't up there yet. This looks like it's normal. Last time it bounced up, it went higher than it's normal. We're only about halfway up to normal, and that goes up to, looks that, 40 cents. So that's another nickel. So that's a good setup. You could put AAC slash WS. I don't want to go in alphabetical order, but look, again, there's another low bubble. Now remember, don't just look at the low bubble. Pan out. See if that's normal. Oh, now see, this looks like a rolling low. We don't like rolling lows. Yeah. Ah, that's just a boulder rolling down the hill. Don't buy that one. No, no, no. So we'll just mosey on through there. Let's come back in on that 20 day, one hour. That's where I like to look. So she had a low bubble pre-market. She fell after market. If you'd have been watching, if that's what you do and you're watching the market before the market opens up and you're looking at warrants, you would have probably seen this and gotten in. And what sort of jump did that give them today? She was at 259 and she went up to 267. Not huge, not huge. But a gain is a gain. When you're playing warrants, they're all NASDAQ or New York Stock Exchange stocks for the most part. In other words, there's no OTC. 
There's no fees. It's free to play these warrants. It doesn't cost you anything to get in or get out, so you don't have to wait till you make $14 of profit before you get out. No, no. And if it falls a little bit more, buy a little bit more if it looks like it should go up. And we're just talking about norm because that's what warrants are. They follow the company, but not necessarily. And when these guys get low bubbles, they're very attractive because one, it's a coupon that allows you to buy stock cheap in the future. And now you're getting to buy the coupon even cheap. Remember, these normally go for a buck fifty. Why do I say that? When SPACs and companies come on the market, they will sell a unit to introduce themselves. A unit is a share of stock and a warrant. Now lately they've been cutting it down to a half a warrant or a third of a warrant. But for example's sake, you get a share of stock in a warrant and it costs $11.50. Well a SPAC, their shares are $10. That's their value. There is no bid value yet until they make a deal. They're a blank check company, so they're always worth $10 until they are an actual company in business. So the warrant would be worth $1.50. Well, look, we're down to 17 cents on this. Now let's go back a year. Let's see what this was. I have no idea about this stock. There is $1.96, less than a year ago, and now she's down at 17 cents. Now, of course, if you really want to play your cards smart, there's lots and lots of warrants because virtually all companies on the major exchanges have warrants. And warrants are valuable, but they're going to move oftentimes with the news of the company. If they have bad financials, the warrants may fall. If they have good financials, it could jump like crazy. So keeping in touch with the news on these companies is good for the warrants as well. All right, so we got another low bubble there on ACHWS. Let's look at this green one. Look, it's green. It says it made a gain of 20%. Is that what it really says? It did. How is that a gain of 20%? All right, I'm coming in. Well, we are on the daily chart. Doesn't look the same that way. So it in a low bubble here at 28 cents. I think this is the one we looked at over on that other chart. Let's grab another one here. I guess it really doesn't matter. We're just looking for lows. Now, this one's floating across the bottom. You can see that right there. And she hasn't responded to it yet. Now, that's the five minute. I do want to be on that 20 day, one hour. It gives you the bubbles close enough that we can relate to them. That was a good bounce there. Wow, that was a good bounce. That went from 21 cents to 32 cents. Let's get some more here. Let's just float. There's a low bubble and it's going sideways. It is not actually climbing yet. Technicals are at the bottom right now with a slight show of recovery. She, oh, I've been here before, haven't I? We drew a line here. This is a C A N O W S. She's been locked in a channel here and broke that channel. That's what we do. You can see she doesn't like to get above that line. And every time she does, she comes back down. She doesn't like to go below it. She comes back in. But when they come out, when they come past the line that's called a breakout, they're normally going to go a lot further away from it because they finally got away from the trap. And this one fell hard. So this could be one to watch because you can see its straight line is up here. It fell from a dollar three, and she is at 82 cents right now. So that could jump a minimum of 20%. Could go all the way up there to a dollar 23 or more. You never can tell with a warrant. All right, we still on that one hour. We are low bubble, end of the day. Now see, that's what I'm talking about. Let's see where that landed on the five minute chart. So if you'd have been searching at the end of the day, you would have, would have found this. Now, would it have been worthy of getting into? Well, let's go back a little further. I can't tell if that's sideways or if that's falling. Well, she has been going sideways here for about, I don't know, maybe a month. But she was falling hard from $1.38. She's been under the 200 all that time. And that's a hard drop. And I don't know. I would just put this on a watch list. I wouldn't jump into it by any means. But it's definitely worth a watch, isn't it? Look at all of these low bubbles. Now, folks, that's a rolling low. So I probably wouldn't consider that one. You know, you can see it's just following a channel. If we were to draw a line across where it's going. I mean, it's obvious to, to your eyes. But... On shorter charts, drawing lines around your shapes. Now, you, I did where the majority is. You see it broke out here and it broke out there, but it came right back in. 
And this is how we'd follow that. When it finally broke up to the top, we'd know it was had a chance of growing. But as long as it stays in here, nah. So this is what I like to do at the end of the day, another one, and find these so that I can decide if I want to get in for the next morning. Now, don't think these always bounce in 24 hours. I don't want to give you that impression. They don't. Sometimes there can be three to four days lag. I'm actually in one now for a company that made a deal for $1.2 billion merger. They're a SPAC. The, the stock went way up, but the price of the warrant went way down. And it looked weird. It went straight across and went boom. And then went sideways a little bit. And I said, well, it's going to do a big cup. You know, it's just going to come right back up. It hasn't. It's gone even lower. And I'm surprised because there's no bad news. However, units are selling. And when you buy a unit, you get a free share, uh, a free warrant. So why would the warrants be selling if the units are selling right now? So I'm being patient on that one. And sometimes you got to be. There's no guarantee. Any stock, even a warrant, is going to go up in any time frame. But use your technicals. We haven't been looking at them. We've only been looking at the low bubbles and the time frame to see where they've been sitting. But if you want to know if something's going to recover, you come down into the shorter time frames and look is this approaching that signal line is it right at it coming up the hill this has been working most today to get back up to it and it looks like it's trying to come down not a whole lot going on with the rsi you want it at least at 60 but you'd like it closer to 70. and you want if you have the csi you want it above the yellow absolutely and you want it pointing up so this doesn't look like it's any big hurry to do any recovering off of that low there's another one now let's take a look I can see that as very few shares. This isn't traded a lot. <laughs> no, this isn't traded a lot at all. How many shares did trade today? Let's see if we can get that volume opened up over there. 10,000 shares. So that's not a ton, is it? Let's actually look at one that had a lot of shares. Um, uh, not a lot of them have a lot of shares. Goodness, there's, no. No, these are only getting 10,000, 20,000, 7,000 shares. So you're going to be twiddling your thumbs. Don't think this is like playing a major stock where it's running all over the place. They're not. But when they move, they move. Now, there's one thing I do want to tell you about playing warrants. And you need to pay attention to this before you just jump into one and buy it. Look very closely at the bid and the ask. In a lot of cases, it is very big. When it jumps down here to 10 cents, it may come all the way up here to 19 cents. You may have to buy it at 19 cents, expecting it to come up to 23 cents. So you've got to watch that spread. A lot of times it is the middle ground that the spread will go to. But if there's no middle ground, you may not even be able to get in. Honestly, it may go from here to there. And it's like, oh, look, that jumps every time. Yeah, somebody paid full boat when it was at the very bottom. So you can't always get into these plays, but you can keep your eyes open. Look at the bid and ask. Right now, this one is at 21 cents, but I don't count aftermarket. Aftermarket is whatever people have written down, typed into their computers, on their phones. That's what shows up. Somebody could put $100, and it would show up $100 right now. So you can see... There's a list here that is just endless. And this is just the New York Stock Exchange. I could go over to my normal, just my normal search. Where are we at? And that is all stocks. I do this and they come up and all I got to do. Now, this is all the OTC, all the NASDAQ, all the New York Stock Exchange. And I just look for, now nah, we've already looked at that one, the WSs. Oh, got it. These are in alphabetical order. I didn't want them in alphabetical order. Right there, let's check that one out. Low bubble back here, growing very slowly. Very slowly. See this big drop? Looks unusual. That is on a 20 hour. Let's back out to four hours. See how strange, whoa. That is, uh, that is a serious drop. This one, before I got into it, I would go check the news. And the ticker for the company would just be the ticker without the W. In the WS that's the ticker so if we wanted to go find out what the news is and here they do bring in news but I don't see anything brought in here so this obviously fell for a reason so this would look very tempting right now but before I got in I would definitely check it looks like she's on the basement floor she's definitely down here 
this would be a place she'd want to start bouncing and she's already started to come up here so go check the news b o x d w s could be a play for tomorrow bark w s another one but that's a rolling downhill look at that down 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 that doesn't look appealing at all so you're getting a drift for how i do this you're really looking for an unusual low bubble and it will bounce up normally in quick time that one went all the way down to nine cents came up to 29 cents just like that that's in an hour boink let's see what it looked like on the five minute so it fell was down there for five minutes came back up so there was a middle ground there was a middle ground you could have probably got in here at 22 cents and rode it up to 31 cents which is a 30 percent gain in five minutes and that's the thing you don't hang with the warrant unless you want to hang on to it and cash it in down the road and you can if you find a company whose warrants are really cheap hang on to those puppies if you like the company if one day apple's warrants fell down to 17 cents heck yeah you want to buy those warrants although go check them out they may be expiring in two days and that's why it's falling so quick because everybody's unloading them before they're worthless warrants have expiration dates and you can normally get the information doing some dd haven't got it for you now but we'll do a video on that someday all right let's see another one here just trying to find them i mean we already looked at that one nothing popping up next one nothing popping up why is there nothing popping up low bubble oh what is that five minute this could be interesting let's look at the 20 day one hour hmm had a very strong climb here from a dollar fifty to two fourteen back down to a dollar sixty two let's look at that four hour i always like to get pictures because the more you know <laughs> the more you grow no the more you know the more you understand absolutely so we had a low bubble here she did jump off that low bubble from a dollar fifty up to 213 if she hits that again she may bounce but you know those aren't as cheap as they can get but cheap isn't always the best way way to play it the best way to play it is the setup how does the chart look is it in your favor are the technicals up that's what you're really looking for a low bubble with technicals turning and look for the history the history is going to tell you so much about it downhill up nah no nah. we'll see now this has fallen below the 200 hall it's below everything else but it is now below the 200 hall oh it did bounce right there i didn't even see that i was going to say this would be tempting because that is a major now most people don't use the hall this is like the 200 day sma it uses 200 days averages them all together and then puts extra credence to current prices so it's normally closer to the price and this this would have been definitely something for people to look at and they did so this could jump from a dollar 28 up to dollar 84 you know there's that get out of there there is that possibility it could go right up into that area let me get my money line so that we can see that right up there is where where she fell from so we could expect her to go up to there or at least 50 percent 50 percent of that so this is something you can do anytime after market during market but if you do it just before the market closes you can find these bubbles before the day ends and maybe take a position if you find a stock that shows a history of steady price you want a price it wants to go home to like this see now that's scary because this has been there a long time it fell and did not come back long time it is falling low bubble and honestly because of the history this doesn't look like it likes to come back so i pass this one up it does look tempting in one regard but it looks horrible in another regard ah long sideways nothing out of the usual can't believe all right, we got a low bubble there. What sort of bounce back does she get? Oh, I'm on the four hour. See, you need to pay attention. All right, so that's our 20 day, one hour view rolls. That's a boulder rolling downhill. We definitely don't want that. Door, ooh, big climb. Let's go look at that, back up to the four hour. Oh, she must have just come on the market. Just came on the market here. What, two cents? two cents because there's no more that that's it i can't go back any further so it was at two cents and it went up to 228 
and is now at a dollar forty. Very interesting. I'm not even quite sure what that is. D O D R W. D O D R. That's the company it is. What? Wait a minute. Maybe I can see it. D O D R. Uh... Oh, I lost it. Doggone it. Oh, well, that happens. Low bubble alert coming on the 20 day. This is CLB TW. CLB T. Had a low bubble today. Uh, does she have a history of staying up there, though? Oh, goodness. I'm going to have to go back even further. I, I, I really can't tell. All right, so she has been up in this area. I mean, th those are some good bounces going from $1.01 up to $1.65. They got smaller and smaller. She's hit a low bubble here. I'd at least put it on a list, right? CLBTW, but come down to the five minute. Let's check those technicals. All right, see our MACD is starting to come up. RSI is pushing up, though she isn't strong. CCI is near the green, pushing up. This looks like it's ready to recover. This one looks like it's ready to come up, and this is its norm. This is where it was sitting for many days. That is at 99 cents, it's at 82. Now, a lot of people say, oh, that's not a lot of gains. First off, it doesn't cost you anything to get in or get out. So it's just free money. You worked for it, but it's free money, right? You get in there, take $2. Look, think of it this way. You got a $6 gain. Didn't cost you anything to get in or out, but you don't want to take it. Would you mind losing $6? Oh no, you don't want to lose $6. Now all of a sudden $6 is worth something to you, right? Right. It's about perspective. Put the fact on that that $6 in the green is your money and they're holding it. You might as well take it. You want to get back in after you take it, then get back in. But if you feel like you're going to lose money they're holding, just snatch it out of their hand. You can always get back in for free, right? Take the money and run. In your hand, it's worth everything. In their hand, it may not be yours by the end of the day. All right, let's see. Just poking our heads in here. Dayo. Uh, Dayo is coming down to a low again. Nothing impressive there. That's five minutes. I want to be on the 20 hour, a uh, 20 day, excuse me. Okay, another one. That one's climbing slowly, but we are looking for ones that are falling. All right, this one has an average up here, right? You can see it stays up there. Then it fell a couple days ago, and it has a low bubble. Now, is this a five-day low? No, that is a six-month low already, and it is also a year low. But come back down to that four-hour. This was also, oh, we're right there. We're right there. Let me get that. I think we're actually below that. We are. We are below. This was the absolute low, and she bounced off this low. Sure did. She bounced off this low. She was down here at 18 cents. It took days now. I want you to see this. You can get out early, get back in if you like, but she did cover about 20 days there, 25, and she went from that 18 cents up to 58 cents. It was a slow climb, but it was steady. There was a dip there. I'm sure a lot of people jumped. And look, look at that bounce the very next day. Made somebody happy. So this is a lower low than this. And was it bouncing back? Did we see any recovery already happening on it? No, that's how it ended. That's how the day ended. Let's actually come down to the minute. So, there was one minute left in the day, and it looks like she just laid on the exact same price. Technicals, if you come back out to the 5, or that's the 15, it looks desperate. Nothing looks like it wants to recover, so I wouldn't have gotten into this. It's sitting on a low bubble. We want that uh, insurance. We want that assurance that it's going to go the other direction. So we wait for confirmation. Look for those two green bars at least going up in the other direction. All right, we're going to take a look at just a few more here. Another low bubble. Back this out. 20 day, one hour. It looks like a roller downhill. This is a boulder. Yeah, that's a boulder. I mean, she did bounce off this low here. Don't want you to overlook that fact. She came down. Look, she hit a low here. Bounced. Then decided to go lower. Hit a low. Bounced. Then decided to go lower. Hit a low. 
could bounce could bounce and she went here from about a dollar 21 up to two bucks that was an 80 cent jump and that is on the daily for goodness sake let's come down to 20 hour 20 day why didn't anybody tell me it was on the daily all right so we don't want to go that far back this makes a whole big difference that's a boulder no doubt about it rolling downhill no good i hate boulders there's just nothing you can do with them except get out of their way wow look at all of those but when you see one going straight across the board and then drops for no blooming reason now could be go check the news could be a reason hit a low here bounce back up real quick from 12 to 18 cents doesn't sound like much but that's a 30 percent gain 30 percent gain in that one bounce and that took four hours let's come down to the 20 day one hour view that took one hour let's see if it took one hour down to the five minute view oh boy that's tough no so it took it took an hour to get that jump so it went from that low of 12 to 17, 18 cents. That's two hours to get that next two cents. So that was actually pre-market. As soon as the bell rang, it took off. And remember, you can buy these stocks pre-market. Absolutely, folks. Pre-market, aftermarket sales don't cost anything extra. You don't need any special qualifications. There's no special rules. The only thing you gotta remember is to set your trade off of the day. You're not trading a day trade, you're trading an extended trade in extended hours. So you gotta put day plus extension or good till cancel plus extension or just extension. But if you don't have extension in there, your order won't go through. So feel free to play the pre-market and aftermarket. If you see a drop like this, whoa, you see it as you're looking at it, pre-market, new bubble. Now, of course, you don't buy on low bubbles, but if you look at this, you can see that is way out of whack. But, meh, it would have been a gamble. Everything is a gamble. So the more you know, the more you're going to protect yourself. Check the news, see if anything is going on. All right, folks. I don't think I can go through all of these, and I probably dragged you through too many already. But if you have Thinkorswim, you can just come up here and choose New York. And I'm not sure if it does it for NASDAQ as well. But if you come down to their ends, there's the NASDAQ and there's the New York Stock Exchange. And scan that and you see that most of what comes up are warrants. Most all of those are warrants. That one there is 48% down. Whoa! Now there's an unusual drop, okay? Absolutely, this is its median. Little bit above it, but right there. Look at that drop. It went from 32 cents down to 12 cents. That's on the 20 day. Let's go back four hours. That's that's beautiful. It's gone under. Look, it just broke the 200 day haul right there at the 23. So at minimum, this would probably jump from 12 to 23 just to get back to the 200 haul. Well, that's an interesting one. This is B O A S W S. B-O-A-S-W-S. -S. Boy, that's a beauty there. However, all the technicals are really shooting down. But it ended that way. That's the way it ended. Let's look at the minute. Right at the bell. Bam. Hit really hard. She did bounce up. She's actually at 15, almost 16 cents. She's right here right now. So she hit that and came up in that last minute. So she did have a big fall, but she's already bounced off of that fall. So this could be in the mode of recovery, and you can't see it here. And she is cheap. So I like that. Coming over here to New York, you can just go through these things very quick. And if you don't know how I've got this set up, I've got a video out there. All you got to do is watch that video, and it'll show you how to set your charts up just like this. So you have that quick chart, and you can just zoom through here looking at these things without having to put the ticker in come back grab a ticker put the ticker in the chart that's a lot of work this one just hit a little bubble after market fell from 24 cents to 17 cents after market it's been falling all day let's take a look at this one going back all right she was slowly falling slowly but that's a drop that's unusual let's go back four hours see how her history stands 
All right, so she's been sitting right about there. Yep, now come back in on that five minute. So there's her average. Her average there is at 36 cents. It could be right there at that line right there. You know, I was spitballing as best I could. So that's 100% gains to get back to where she fell from. Another one that is set up to be put on a watch list because this could take off in the morning. This is P-D-O-T, P-D-O-T-W-S. Peter Dam O Tom. <laughs> I couldn't come up with the words. All right, I think that's enough for me, folks. I've been looking at charts all day and these little things seem to be getting smaller and smaller for me. So you see what sort of day it was. It was a pile of shaving cream. It was a hard day. It was bloody. What would you say? 90% of the market was down today. It was hard. And if it wasn't down, it was ignored. And that's the way the OTC market was. Heavily ignored. Lots and lots and lots of stocks got nothing. Not a buy, not a sell. And that makes for a hard market to play. So unless you're playing puts or shorting stocks, you're probably not in the market at all. That's why warrants are good. Warrants are kind of outside of market sentiment because they have their own value built into them. An intrinsic value because it's a coupon that's going to allow you to buy that share at a much cheaper price in the future. And if it hits a low bubble today, well, who cares what's going on in the rest of the world when there's a sale going on? You're going to run in there and buy all that you can get. And that's what happens. These things are outside of everything else. They've got their own game going on. They're creatures of their own habits. So when everything is looking like shaving cream out there, go play the warrants looking for W's and WS's on the back of your stock tickers. The ticker itself minus the WWS is what you'll do research on if you want to hedge your bets. Look for those two bars for your confirmation. You want insurance that it's going the right way before you get into it. No guarantees, but that's what the insurance is for, to at least hedge your bets. And you can do well with these folks. They don't all run in 24 hours. Some take three, four days. But if you see it's unusual, it's not a boulder rolling down the hill. It just fell off a cliff and someone had to jack it back up to get it back on the road. Those are the type you're looking for. I hope I've shared something good with you here. It was a bad day and I hated to bring bad news to you. So I tried to bring you something, well, tastier than the shaving cream. <laughs> Remember, folks, there's a lot going on out there. The more you know, the more you're going to grow. See ya.